So now we're going to do the upper box of that uh, stack. Ninety degrees. Some store some nectar on this one. So now we'll be faced with a choice. <laughs> so the, probably the way to go was to check through the rest of the frames, mm -hmm. keep, a, keep a mental note of which ones have got um, have some queen cells on, take a guess at which one you feel is best, um, check that the one you're going to leave is charged, mm. ideally open. And that's basically the job for today. Actually, that's the one that's up at the bottom there. Just yep. the developments. Put them in carefully so I don't damage them. <laughs> hmm. Remember, that's the third one in there. Number three. Thought it was, but we could Drone brood. Oh, oh yeah, on the left hand That's side. And on the right hand side, uh, slightly higher up. Yeah, right there. And you would commonly expect to find 10, 20, maybe more. Um, and that's, that's your kind of. Uh, these are all emergency queen cells because we physically took the queen out so they've responded. More emergency than super oh, yeah. seizure because we've actually physically taken the queen out, so it, that we've oh, created an emergency yeah. essentially, yeah. which is um, yeah, super seizure would be more yeah. if they yeah. decided yeah. that they were going to retire, but they yeah. don't want to swarm, which is often a late season or sometimes early season kind of thing. Yeah. Cap, oh, top right hand side as you're looking at it. Oh, there's another one underneath them, oh, and at the bottom as well. All down the side bar on this one. Uh, one I think is somewhere there. Yeah. And it's a dilemma because sometimes top left as you're looking as well. There won't be um, there won't be a, the perfect one. Especially mm. if they're emergency queen cells, they won't be the full length, full kind of thing that you you'd ideally want to see. So you need to make a bit of a judgement call. What's that? Three, four, three, four, three, four, 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 three, four, 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 that's by far a favourite at the moment. Yeah. Can we just see if that's I'll charged? I was waiting to see if that bee was going to come out in there. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but the larvae's in the bottom sitting in the royal jelly. C-shaped, well segmented, and pearly white. <laughs> in a bed of the finest royal jelly. So it's this one, two, three, four, six. Six, six one. See that one's sleeping us half by the Yeah, yeah. Just 
quite far on that one as well. Isn't you? you ideally don't want one that's sealed because if it's sealed, you don't quite know. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't know quite what's going on in there. Yeah, um, it, it could be a dud. Does that mm. indicate anything? The drawing pin. Here? The drawing pin may well have been where I left an original one. Uh, <laughs> but it might not actually, because I don't think I left an original one, or maybe I did. Yes, um, I mean you can raise on an egg, um, you can raise on a, up to a three day old larvae mm. with emergency queen cells. If they haven't been nourished properly, That's the one we've got, I would say, the one on that last so frame is preferable to that. So yeah. I think once we've gone through, we can work back to that I'm one. I'm just wondering if the tables have been seen. Yeah. It may be why I put the pin in, because yeah. uh, although I don't look like I got the pin in the right place, but we can certainly yeah. use that pin again. Yeah. But it is the difference between a little queen cup, a tiny little lake or anything, and, and sort of one. So a, 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 an emergency queen raised on a larvae that wasn't given perfect nutrition for its whole life could be an underperforming queen. So ideally you want one, this is a nice strong colony, it should have the capacity to raise a decent queen. Um, we're trying to now help it by sort of making a selection. We don't want multiple cast swarms, so we're going to thin it right down. But And some people will argue that we don't make the best choices, we should leave it to them. But you don't really want, um, especially in a public space like this, we don't want a thousand and one cast swarms. So... You could lose that one... That is the danger of leaving one, that it could be a dud. You, if, you've, if you've left it with, um, if you've seen it open and you've seen it with raw jelly and you've seen it with the larvae in, you're, you're stacking the odds as much as you possibly can in your favour. But it ain't a perfect um, uh, sort of equation. I've done it a few times recently, gone back, and the one I've pin marked, I've looked in and it's either gone completely or the raw jelly's all dried up and there's no larvae in it. At the end of the day, if it did lose it, I would probably look at the other resources I got and nick a frame of eggs out of a decent yeah. colony and, and kind of replace like that. Are you going to go back through and knock everything down apart yeah. from that to one on six? So it can take a bit of time this process, but you're making. You're making an important decision for the future of this colony, so take your time. Now shaking, if you were going to keep the queen cells on this frame, you might think not about shaking it because you could shake the larvae out of the pool. But we know we're not going to keep the queen cells on this, so that's fine. If you ever did want to shake a frame with the, with the queen cell on it, shake it up, upside down, yeah, precisely like that. And then you'll shake, shake it into the royal jelly and not back. Might be a couple on the other side as well. These frame, the, the, because these started as worker cells and then they've been extended like an elephant yeah. trunk, it's not a perfect um, normal queen cell which hangs vertically like yeah. a peanut shell. But it's because of it's, it's the nature of an emergency queen cell to do that. That's, that's where our perfect one is. I'm just triple check and see column them all. You'll know it when you see it. It's quite notably better than the others. So we've got a sealed one here, which may have been one that we left the other day and um, when we did this split, which was the trigger for, for kind of taking the queen out. Um, but to be honest, it's... Some people will say leave the original, but having seen what we've seen, it's not as good. And you can see the larvae oh, tumbling away there. Sorry, you will not take the throne. And I'm not sure I would have, even if that was the best one, would have been connected to another one. How would you kill one without damaging? The other one there. I'm just not sure about that. Could be drone, could be uh, on the one beside it. Probably drone, but yeah, yeah I don't know. It's not taking a chance. chance. <sighs> right, then let's be careful with frame number six. So the important thing is you're choosing a one now, and we think we've chosen it. But don't just sort of think, oh, that could be the only one on that frame, and not check the frame carefully, because there could be plenty of others. Let's 
say it's clear. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, thank right. you. It's so easy to spot, and sometimes they're not very distinct, and you think, could be drone, could be. Got a but point. several pairs of eyes is always handy, Still and that's the reason a lot of the time you get swarms and you think, but well, I checked that and I thinned it down, it couldn't have done that, because you, you didn't quite... I know it's under there somewhere, it's just leaving that the last before I... It's, it's kind of, it's, 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 down, it? it's, it's head and shoulders above the rest. And sometimes you get one like that. Sometimes you not get, don't get as black and white a choice. And sometimes yeah. you just yeah. kind of get a load of middling ones. And you think, oh, well, and then it's lucky dip. But that's, that's kind of, uh, and we've looked, we've checked. It's got everything that we want in it. It's good length, everything going for it. So now we just cream them. Yeah. I have, I've got it in my fingers. Am I about right there? Yeah, pretty much perfect, yeah. So, drawing pin goes in, and that indicates the frame and the side okay. that it's on. So, when you come back, hopefully, we're checking this at about four days. Mm. They do have the potential to raise a bunch more queen cells on some of the larvae here. The ones they raise from here on in are liable to not be as strong as what we've chosen but it's probably still worth doing another check in three or four days for, uh, for other ones. Well, hopefully the timeline goes, we've left an empty queen cell probably in about um, uh, 10 days, um, something like that, maybe slightly, slightly longer. We'll have a queen emerge. Six days for her to become sexually mature. And... Um, then up to three weeks for her to mate. Um, that cell wasn't a bad one, but we've seen better. So, um, and that one right on the bottom of the frames is vulnerable there. It, it could was easily get partially squashed out there. Uh... And that's sometimes when you choose, you choose one that's not going to get sort of clumped when you uh, move the frames around. It's nice to see the difference, isn't it? The royal jelly and the blue food. Quite a distinct difference. Yeah, I mean, the sort of, us up the, the bee bread sort of is, is kind of the honey pollen mix, but that very yeah. distinct white kind of gloop yeah. is, is, is royal jelly. And they'll feed any egg on that. It's that six days from it not stopping being an egg, starting to be a larvae, until it's sealed. It's that critical period that that's, that's all, everything that happens in those six days is what makes a queen a queen. We've got the right bunch of little cells there. And most of them ain't that great. Like you say, those are just drawn out from existing. Precisely, they're drawn out from worker cells. They've panicked, they've made whatever they can, um, and they've done some better than others. They've they sort of worked mm, yeah. with, with what, what they've got, like they all do. I think the third one in was the last one with any uh, yes, green cells on it. Right. And there's a couple there, I mean that sort of one there, if we'd have had to sort of choose from some other stuff, that would be viable. Um, it's, it's not bad, but again, we've got better, so pick the best. One other option you've got is if you want, if you love this colony, you could take some of these queen cells out and put them into, um, and, do, and make up a, a, a nuke or something from yeah. them. If you made the nuke up at this stage, there's danger that it wouldn't be, they wouldn't be as well nourished as as they possibly could be, but you can you can use queen cells to your advantage out of a nice colony, um, and that's pretty much it. We've just got empty frames from here on, and then we'll reassemble the colony. So that's that's selecting a queen cell in a colony. Thanks, folks. <laughs>